let me ask you this, Wayne. Have you have you ever uh, seen a Bigfoot or a Dogman uh, encounter each other at the same time, or or, or have they, do they get along, or, or what's your take on that? This is funny because they would the Bigfoots would mind where I used to live. Now it don't happen no more because I don't live around them anymore. I live in town now, but when I lived down there where they were living in my woods, they would mind speak to me all the time. I asked them once, I said, why does the dog man sleep? Why does the dog man sleep way on the other end of the woods and not with you guys? And they were, their explanation was he sleeps down there. He don't sleep with us. So uh. yeah, I think that I, I've seen, actually, I've actually got, I've actually seen where a Bigfoot and a dog man was sitting side by side, you know, and I actually used to record record mm-hmm. um, this one that would, every time I go out there, there would be a Bigfoot and a dog man sitting side by side, you know. Well, well let me ask you this. You, you said mind speak. Now, do they speak to you telepathically? Is that what you mean? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, telepathic, mm-hmm. not just telepathically. They taught me how to astro project. They oh, showed wow. me how to do it. Oh, yeah. I mean, when that movie, that I'll give you the best example. When that movie, Doctor Strange, came out, I understood it and loved it. Because when you've experienced that stuff for real, I mean, you start understanding when you watch it on TV about astral projection, you know. Mm-hmm. But they, would be, they, they taught me one thing about it. They showed me how to do it, and I, could, I can do it. All I got to do is go in there and clear my mind and think about where I want to go, and I can go there. And oh, wow. Last time I did it, though, well, we got to get into this this other cryptid that I found. This one, this one defies logic, and this was, to me, I, this one, this one don't make sense to me. It don't make sense to me, and I can't figure out why. But last February, I'm out there at that trail. This black, it looked to me like this black black shadow was casting a massive black shadow was casting in front of a tree, but. It, what in a shadow. So when I got home, I took took the color out of the picture to see what it was. Right. And it was freaking, anu- it was Anubis. You know, Anubis, the, the god of the underworld. I mean, if you, <laughs> you see him, he had this big, he had this big mane head, big like, dog-like mane head. He had these real long fingers. He had these skinny arms. He had these big thighs and these really skinny legs and these big feet with these big, big um, toes coming out for a minute, and and then a, I would say about a week later, I'm at another part of that trail, and I'm looking down there, and I see these shiny teeth, and I zoom in, I zoom in, and I film. I took about maybe six or seven pictures. Most of them just didn't look right, but then there was one that did, and it almost looked like he was in between a dimension, but it was a clear picture of the this this Anubis with his fangs and everything coming out. So let me ask and, you this: when you when you say Anubis, you're talking something like the Egyptian god type. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Okay. Let me yeah, ask you another. Egypt, yeah. yeah. Let me ask you another question. Yeah. Do you think Do you think that uh, the Bigfoot or these um, other cryptids are they using portals? You think they're using portals, or what's your take on that? Yeah. Well, this is this is this 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 will tell you. The first time one of mine spoke to me, right? Uh-huh. Um, the, well, the first time he ever did that, he, he told me where he was from. And he and this is, this is the exact words. He said, we can walk with the ghost, but the difference between us and the ghost is we can come out. They can't. And to me, what that means is they can go, I've heard anywhere between three, four dimensions at once, if they want to be, you know, and I honestly, if you think about this, you know why all this is happening, I believe? Remember when they, they then created that thing called CERN and they started playing around with our dimensions and stuff? Mm-hmm. It was kind of, kind of weird around that same time as when most of us started seeing these Bigfoots like we've been seeing them, you know? This wasn't a, think about it, this wasn't a big phenomenon a couple of years ago. It's like now everybody's seeing them. So you think, and your your um, your theory is it kind of amped it up or opened the veil a little more to witness more Bigfoot more often, and and uh, Bigfoot is Bigfoot to you is it a um, it has a biological body? It's not just a spirit like a ghost or something. Is that what you? No, saying? he 
No, they're the, the ones, especially especially the one I saw the other day. They're, no, they're mm-hmm. bio, they're bio, they oh, okay. they are biological. Mm-hmm. I'll I can tell you the best way to tell you. Right. They said we got the same stuff in us. We when we evolve, when we evolve like they have, we can walk through walls. We can we can we can cloak. We can we can teleport. We we got all these abilities in our DNA now, but it's not been unlocked yet. And when it okay. is unlocked, and we're and we're all, we will be just like they are. Okay. And it may, I mean, it makes it makes perfectly good sense because why would they? And I think too, they go out and they go out and they pick out certain people to, to to spread the message. I don't. They don't go out and just find anybody. They go out and they, like I said, they tested me to see if I'd be scared of them. They did so much junk to me to try to scare me mm-hmm. that that and, and none of it ever did. And and like I said, people think I'm crazy that I go out there by myself for messing around with those things. But I'm not scared. So I don't have no reason to be. You've um, never had a bad you've never had a bad experience of one. None, none of them have ever chased you or um false charged you or threw anything at you or attacked you or anything like that. I've had I had one last year. I was walking on this trail and my hair was soaking wet. And I was walk this was a different trail, but I was walking on this trail, it's about three miles in. And all of a sudden, there's nobody there, nobody, and I hear this running. And I'm thinking there's some dogs running up on me, but I never see them. I'm thinking it might be a deer running up on me, never see it. And then the next thing I know, it come running by me so fast it dried my wet hair. Oh, my. And, and, I, and I had a red mark on my arm afterwards, too. So he ran by and he grabbed me as fast as he did it. But, but I heard him coming up on me. I just never saw him. And... You know, and and that's that's happened a lot of times. Like if I be out of the other trail, a lot of times if I'm by myself, they mm-hmm. still will follow me. They'll still walk around. In fact, um, I sat down on the bench and I actually caught video of one that had been following me about two weeks ago. <laughs> I was recording, and I was like, I said, I see you over there. I said, I knew you was following me because I could hear them following me, but I could never see them. Let but, me ask. Let me ask you this, Wayne. Do they? Do they live underground? Or is there a place in the woods they live, or they just, or they live in another dimension and just come here frequently once in a while? Or how does that work? Well, being <laughs> being that most sightings are random and they're not here all the time, I would almost think that I would almost think that they. I believe it's two possibilities: they can live underground, but they also they also are in between dimensions. I when we were filming my movie, right? Mm-hmm. I showed my I showed Stacy Brown who Stacy Brown had never seen a Bigfoot before that that uh, up close anyway and I showed him this Bigfoot that we had been out there all the time earlier in that day when we were filming he was there when we went back I said let's go see if he's still there now and he had basically faded away now he was almost a shell of himself and I think what it was was he was fading on out to another you know he was fading on out to where he was going. And and it's it's amazing too if you show these things to certain people that hadn't been chosen, you go back out there and they won't be there no more. And that's happened to me a couple times now. I'll show I'll show a bigfoot to a, I'll tell them where one's at, and I'll come back and that bigfoot won't be there anymore. And it's all about tr- it's all about trust with them. That's why I'm real selected. I, I have people all the time wanting to go out there with me and. And watch what I do, and I'm like, you know, I'm like, you know, the movie was a risky thing because I knew if we film, if we go in there and we start messing around with them, then I'm gonna lose all of them, and you know, and and for a little while that happened, but then they came back a few days later, you know, but they did mm-hmm. leave. Well, um, let me ask but, this: Is there any certain time, like? um are there any certain like weather conditions or time of day that that's better to encounter these uh, Bigfoots than other times? Here's a, here's my take because I watched them. I watched them where I used to live. I could watch them all day long. I mm-hmm. could see them in the morning. I'd see where they'd sleep at. I'd see where they'd leave. And don't go looking for them at night because number one, most of them are asleep. If you encounter one at night, it's either a rogue one. Or it's a scout that's just watching out for the ones that are sleeping, because they sleep like we do. They um they get up they get up around I would say, I would say between four thirty and maybe six o'clock, 
in the dark. You might see one by the end, you know, but you know, people have sightings on the roads all the time like that. But that's when they're really active around five o'clock. Um, the best time mm-hmm. I've found them is any time between three o'clock and, and, and five o'clock. Okay, hold on right so, there for hold on right there for a minute, Wayne. Uh, everybody's watching Facebook Live. Um, I'm going to cut it off now. If you would, please transition over onto www.nightdreamstalkradio.com to continue on with my guest, Wayne Wilson. I'll see you guys later. Okay, go ahead, Wayne. Okay. Yeah, like I was, like I was saying, like I was saying, it was, uh, it depends. I guess it depends on, it may also be this, too. I've been told by a co- I've been told, you know, number one, I have abilities. I have psychic abilities. You know, I also have psychic abilities. I can see things or I can sense things, you know, so I'm thinking that's why I pick up on them so easy. You know, some psychics, you know, they find ghosts a lot better. You know, I, I don't really go after ghosts because it, it's too, it's what I call too um, risky for one to try to jump in me. You know, and I, I, I found that out a couple of years ago when me and me and my friend Kimberly McGeorge went to this haunted graveyard, and we're in that graveyard. We walk on that graveyard, and I see over a hundred ghosts just jump up and run from us. I mean, that's when I walked into that graveyard, and then there was what I call a demon presence over at the tree, and and I can feel him. I see him over and I'm like, we got to get away from this dude. This dude was trying to draw energy off of me and her to try to manifest. And I had to get away from him. And it took me almost a week to recover from that. Oh, wow. I mean, yeah. So I know, I know I could be an asset for any ghost hunter that wanted me to come in there because ghosts seem to be scared of me. (laughs) You know, you got ghosts that, that you got ghosts that could be, you know, and, and, you know, it might be too because of my relationship with the Sasquatch, you know? No. You know, I don't know. Um, are these Sasquatch, are they territorial or are there different types, different groups that don't get along with each other or how, how does that work? There it, you know, I seen, I seen firsthand, I seen firsthand a group of them that showed up where I used to live. They were up the road, in the woods, up the road, and I saw them. So I'm thinking they're no different than the ones I've been filming. So I go up the road, I start looking up the road, and all of a sudden I hear all these yells coming out of the woods going, hey, hey, hey. And I'm like, I'm like, why are they yelling hey at me? And I start filming these things, and they look awful. They were the nastiest looking, I mean, nasty looking things. They didn't even look normal. Some of them looked weird. And, um, and, um, as I'm filming them, I kid you not, this this orb kept getting in front of my screen, trying to block me from recording. I mean, it just it would kept coming in front of my screen and would not let me record it. So, a few days later, there's a there's a big female Bigfoot standing in my yard, looking guarding my woods and guarding me. And next thing I know, <laughs> there's Bigfoot all every spot of my yard, guarding me because they were trying to protect me from what I had just filmed. And oh, wow. evidently, what I what I filmed was something very bad. Evidently, and I need to find that video. I took a bunch of my videos off of YouTube, but I need to find it because that's a pretty wild video. Well, let um, me ask what's what's your uh, opinion on why we never find any bodies? Um, what what do you think they do to their dead? What, what's your opinion on that? I I believe that they that well I've seen it. I, they took me to a place. They took me to a place where they bury their dead. Um, I've seen it. It's a big green. It's a really greeny, greeny place. I mean, and I think that might be it. Some lady over in England had, I guess it was Elaine Buxton, I believe, had posted this picture of this place. And I said, damn, if that don't look like what they showed me in that vision. I said, I said, no, I believe there is places where they bury their dead. We just can't find them. Okay. You know? I just curious because we, we, yeah, we've never found a body, you know, and science really needs a body, you know, how science is. So that, I was just curious of, of, you know, what do they do? How do they do it? You know, well, they, well and, and think about it too. If they're interdimensional, they may be in a, maybe another dimension where they bury their, bury their dead. They might not even bury them on this planet. You that's know, true. You don't that, know. Right. That's true too. That may, yeah, that makes more sense. That makes more sense because. If they can dig a dinosaur bone up, why can't they find a Sasquatch bone? You know, you know, 
but I also know too. I also know too. Our government's got them. Got a few of them locked up somewhere. You know? Oh, okay. 